another workout with me. Today we're going to use bands and it's a lower body and core workout. So it's up to you how many bands you use. I'm going to go for two um, because I want to. So our first exercise is a squat and then a hold. So the majority of the time we'll be working for 40 seconds with a 20 second rest but sometimes it'll be 30 seconds with a 10 second hold at the end. So, our first one is a squat, so feet a little bit wider than hip width, squat down, come back up. And obviously you need to push your knees out slightly so there's that resistance there. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds, you'll hear the beat, and then we're gonna hold it down here for 10 seconds. Let's get ready to go. I'll tell you what each exercise is coming up when we get to it. Here we go, squats. Make sure your back flat is flat, chest is up, and squat down nice and low. The good thing about bands or weights is that you can start light, and when that starts to feel easy, you can increase it. So with the bands, just add more bands. Here we go, get ready to hold it. Hold it here for 10 seconds and then we get a rest. Push your knees out, work against that resistance, and stay low. Woo! Well then, sit up next. You can leave the bands on, may as well. So crunch up, exhale as you crunch up, and return down to the floor again. And we're doing this for the full 40 seconds. about pushing your chest out to the wall in front of you. So you're flattening your back as you come up. And make sure you keep those tennis ball sides yeah, between your chin and your chest. Don't curl your chin down. Keep going for last 10 seconds. We've got 12 exercises in total. Well done. Now we've got squat abductors. So we're gonna come down into a low squat and push our knees out. Really working the side of our glutes or abductors. So we're gonna pulse for 30 seconds, like this. And then we're gonna hold it for the final 10. Well then, keep it going, stay low. I know it burns. 10 left and then we're gonna hold it. Get ready to hold, push out and hold it. crunches now, so you'll need to take your bands off. We're going to bring opposite elbow to opposite knee and try and bring your elbow up to your knee rather than your knee right into your elbow. Doing this for the full 40 seconds. With that extended leg that you're kicking away from you, Try and kick the heel of that foot away from you. Keep going, that's halfway. And then we're going to need to get our bands back on again. Last 10. Whew, 20 seconds left. 
My bum is burning. That's what we wanted though, isn't it? Get ready to hold in five seconds. Lift it and hold it. I know it burns, keep that resistance. Keep pulling against it. again on the other side now. Enjoy that little bit of rest whilst we get it. Here we go. Same again on the other leg. That's it. Control the movement on the way down as well. Movement. 
With the hip lift, think about getting your legs at about 90 degrees and pushing straight up from there. You don't want your legs to come back over your head. Just over 10 seconds left. on the other leg now. So remember which one you did before, you do the other one. <laughs> Same again, 30 seconds of the pulsing movement and then a 10 second hold. And this is our penultimate exercise. Pulse that heel up. In 10 seconds, we're going to hold it. Hold it up in. Really pull. Pull that heel away. position for the final 10. So 30 seconds of a full body crunch and then for our final 10 we're going to hold it. Here we go. Exhale as you crunch it.